What's going on, my PT peeps? My walking the family and my fighters. I'm One Eye Bright, also known as PT. Don't know if I'm winking or blinking, but I'm definitely thinking about The Walking Dead Season 11 Part 3. Spoiler warning for all things Walking Dead, but definitely for Season 11, Episode 22, 23, possibly 24. Spoiler warning, if you don't know what we're talking about, you don't want to know, please stop watching now. But who will this walker, that we pointed out right here, attack because he picked up Lydia's knife, and who is he going to attack? A lot of people think it's going to be one character versus another but i think it's going to be somebody in this group here so lydia elijah jerry aaron or could be luke or jules because they're back which is great but also a little underwhelming and annoying about oceanside but let's get to it so lydia had a knife in her hand as they walk among the walkers with the meat ponchos and she loses her knife I don't know how you just get a knife knocked out of your hand, but she did, she couldn't pick it up, drops to the grass, and a walker somehow trips at the same time, but we're really trying to push the envelope here with the variant walkers. So we're supposed to make believe that these variant walkers can use knives now or use tools or open doors and climb walls and do this and do that and I guess fight now, right? So they're basically walker whispers. But this walker just trips perfectly right behind the knife and picks it up. Like, is it by chance, by design? Either way, we're supposed to believe that walkers know about objects in the grass, even though it's poorly lit. But the walker crawls army crawls and picks up the knife with his right or her right hand which is like okay gotta roll with it roll with it and then that's the last that we see of the walker that now has lydia's knife so who do you think the walker is going to stab cut kill attack with the knife a lot of people think one character a female character please let me know your answer in the comments below who do you think the walker is going to stab, cut, attack, whatever, with Lydia's knife? And the walker gets up and just goes away. The Commonwealth troopers don't attack the walker or anybody there. But I have to say that it's pretty annoying to me and a lot of people about Oceanside, what happened to them. Like, we don't see it. 1116 ended this way with a coin flip. And we don't get to see what happened. We really don't get to see what Lance did. Who did he take out? Are they all gone? If you listen to Luke and Jules, yeah, these Commonwealth guys came and took over. We're not sure about Rachel. We're not sure about this. So it's kind of left open-ended that there could be some survivors, but we just don't know. Are they going to show up in episode 23 or 24? Because if not, it's over. But Jerry, Elijah, Aaron, Lydia, now Luke and Jules, are going somewhere. And I couldn't remember where they're going, I guess, to the Commonwealth is where they are. They didn't get very far, or are they right outside Oceanside? It's kind of hard to tell where they actually are in the woods, but Luke showed up. It's good to see. Luke and Jules, I personally think that Jules is going to be attacked by the walker, because it makes sense. It could be the old whisper angle with Oceanside being attacked, like in 1016, it makes sense. I think it was Beatrice was her name. She was attacked by the Whisperer. Could the same thing happen to Jules with the Walker now? Which it really knocks down the Whisperer angle and the Whisperer story arc. Now we just have Walkers can basically be the same thing as Whispers. It really waters that down in my opinion. It really hurts the story for them. But ultimately, we know that Jules and Luke are back. And I have to comment about the red that I saw. And if you are a keen observer like myself, you do know that Jules has red feathers on her arrows so it's right there i know yeah it's right there and again it's a little blurry in this photo but it's obviously right there so if jules dies it connects that's why she's my pick to die by the walker with the knife because jules and luke don't know about the climbers our group does and you're not going to kill luke you're probably going to kill jules it just makes sense on multiple levels. Will it happen? I don't know, but it's just my guess. And again, it makes sense out of these six people that we lose one of the six by that walker. And I have to say, it was awesome to see Luke. And I like this character. I like the actor. 
you know, he's in a couple other things. And it's just cool to see. Like, it's really annoying when our group is together, separated, together, separated, people go away to come back. Like, enough already. We're running out of episodes. We got 23 and 24 and I'm guessing the big battle, the war sequence, the battle sequence, whatever, is going to have everybody working together, including Luke and whoever survives. So the fact that we do know that some of these characters are seen in filming, potential filming, and some are not, leads me to believe that we could lose one of these characters or multiple characters in this group. It makes sense on multiple levels, but what do you think, guys? Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Now, we saw this photo months ago from the director of photography for The Walking Dead, and it was filming, obviously, and I guess this is going to be from the battle sequence. But who is in here? Who is being swarmed by these walkers? Is it a Commonwealth trooper? Is it someone that was stabbed by the walker? I'm thinking so. It fits because I think that group of walkers is the same group that is with Aaron's group walking to wherever they are, most likely the Commonwealth. And a lot of people think it's Rosita that's going to be stabbed by the walker. It just doesn't make sense to me because she's going to be so far away unless that walker is in here reaching up to get Rosita. Crazier things have happened. It could definitely happen, that's for sure. But Rosita jumps off of, I believe, an ambulance to hopefully be rescued by Father Gabriel and Eugene. But Rosita, these are from the trailer from San Diego Comic-Con months ago, that she finds baby Coco and she's in danger and we'll have to see what happens there. But we do know also from the trailer and the guts trick, Aaron and Jerry are together in these photos. We don't see them filming later on in 23 or 24. So could one of them die? Could both of them die? We know they get inside some sort of trailer camper type thing. We also do see Elijah and Lydia in the trailer and they're around this area. I'm guessing in a dangerous situation, but I'm guessing that Rosita is going to die and the word is that she's going to die, but I don't know if it's going to be by that walker. And if you saw the video with this thumbnail in my previous videos about potential spoilers that happened when they were filming many months ago, that Rosita is rumored to die it makes sense because we do need to lose a big character. I mean, we don't have to, but this is The Walking Dead, so we kind of have to, right? I mean, we have to lose somebody. Not everybody should survive in a zombie apocalypse show. And if you know my red theory, there's been multiple occasions that Rosita is wearing red and surrounded by red and this and that, and something's going to come up that kind of really tips the scales towards that theory. But who will this walker attack is the question. And I'm kind of excited to find out. Episode 21 and 22 were a little lackluster, in my opinion. They were still good, but they were such rushed building block episodes. And since we knew that Negan was going to survive to the Maggie and Negan show, I wasn't worried about his safety, even though he stepped up and tried to take the fall for Alexandria and his wife and everything there. But we'll have to see how it goes down. Let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. And I'm super excited to see how the finale rolls out with the last scenes of The Walking Dead post credit scene or scenes, the Daryl show, Dead City, and all the other shows that are going to be coming if they're going to happen at all. But let me know your thoughts. Post your comments below. Stay safe. And as always, tell them, Daryl. Yeah, we